61A lecture number five. Announcements. There's a take home quiz released Wednesday at 3 p.m. just after live lecture, and it's due the following day at 11.59 p.m. You will find the quiz there. You'll also see Piazza and course website announcements. Should be easy to find. It's worth three points. It has three questions. It is graded for correctness. You submit it in the same way that you submit labs and homework assignments. If you receive zero out of three on the quiz, you'll need to talk to someone on the course staff or we'll have to drop you from the course. We have this seemingly harsh policy not to punish you, but to make sure that everyone gets the right advice that they need and has contact with a staff member. Because if you're getting zero out of three on the quiz, it's a good idea to talk to somebody about other ways you could be approaching the course. This quiz is open computer and you can use any course materials you want, including watching all these videos and reading the textbook. But please don't use external resources to tell you how to solve the problems and don't talk to your classmates. This one you have to do on your own. There's a practice quiz, which was the similar quiz from fall 2013 at this address if you want to try that out for yourself. Okay, on Thursday, we're starting a new course. It's kind of a bunch of bonus topics for this course. It's called Practical Programming Skills. It will help you set up your environment, help you use tools that make programming more efficient and more effective, and play with some cool projects. It starts on Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in 306 Soda Hall, uh, here's a web address where you can learn more information, and this course is run by one of your TAs, Samuk. In addition, there's a gorilla section, number one on higher order functions. What's a gorilla section? Well, this is an optional section that focuses on mastery learning of a particular topic, meaning you keep trying to solve the same problems until you understand them and get them right as opposed to sometimes in lab when we run out of time for you to solve all the problems or you sometimes move on before gaining full mastery understanding. So the idea behind guerrilla sections is you get together in small groups with other people who also want to be there to master a particular topic, in this case, higher order functions. And so you're going to work through a worksheet with lab assistants and readers on hand and uh, work on the problems until everybody in your group understands them and then move on. It's proven to be a very effective way to learn and we pick topics that have proven to be challenging for students in the past. So particularly for higher order functions, you shouldn't feel bad if you don't understand exactly how they work the first time you see them. But if you want some more time to practice with them, see more examples and get ready to use them on your projects, then come to this guerrilla section on Saturday, starting at 12.30 p.m. Again, in 306 Soda. Homework two will be posted soon. It's due next Monday, and it's really small, just to give you a couple of practice problems related to higher order functions. Project one is big. It's been out for some time now, and it's due on Wednesday. So focus your energies on project one, but don't forget about homework two. I have one more announcement. There are office hours in this course. You should go. And what do you do when you get there? Well, people run different office hours in different ways, but what you should do is ask questions, work with others, help everybody around you solve problems, and try to get the answers to the problems you have yourself. All of this involves you not standing or sitting by yourself, but instead interacting with other people. In this course, you are not alone. In particular, you have wonderful peers and a excited and dedicated course staff. Take a look at this course staff page. All these TAs, you can email them directly or come to their office hours. All of these readers are excited to help you during homework parties and project parties. The most useful tip I can possibly give you about success in this course is to make sure that you use the resources around you.
You are not alone. Not alone. There's the course staff. Please come to office hours.